Hello fairies and lightworkers, it's Aya here to help you tell better stories. Welcome to the next video in my MBTI series. Today I'm going to cover the function SE. MBTI stands for Meyer-Briggs Personality Type Indicator. It's a personality test that groups people into 16 different types by ranking eight functions that they have from the ones they use the most to the ones that they use the least. These eight functions are made up of feeling, thinking, sensing, and intuiting, and each of these four qualities have two types, an objective type and a subjective type. Today I'm covering SE, which is also known as extroverted or objective sensing. SE dominant personality types include the ESTP and the ESFP. I am not an SE dominant, but there are a lot of really cool things I can share with you about this function and how it might affect your fictional characters. The SE function is what I like to call the function of action. It is the function of being present in the moment with your senses. So this is a very alluring function. People who are dominant in this function might attract people to them because they have this presence. They know what's going on around them. They might be interested in activities that allow them to exercise this presence. So. Um, maybe sports, they might be more, uh, they're going to be less bookish people and more people who are good at acting in the moment, um, maybe thinking on their feet, using their, their body and their physical presence to affect change on the world. So they make great skateboarders, they make great ice skaters, like these are people who know where they are and they tend to be pretty well coordinated. SE dominant types are pretty common in the population as well, although they might be less common in fiction. A great example of an SE dominant character is Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. He is definitely an SE dominant. He functions with his senses. He uses his senses to tell him how to nav navigate the world, although he's often in a state of grip stress, which we'll get to in a moment. And so you see him using other functions as well, but he's someone who uses his senses. He uses his senses to cope. He uses his senses to learn. He uses his senses to make decisions about how to do things. And he's just ready to act in the moment. Whereas as Walt is more of, an, he's an N dominant type, he's an INTJ, and so he's kind of the thinker to Jesse's action. The SE dominant character in your story is the guy who takes action, the guy or the gal or whoever who does the thing. They are the person who in the moment, they might act out of the heat of the moment. They probably are not planners, they're not people who want to think through their next step because they trust themselves physically speaking. They trust that when they're in a particular moment, they're going to act and they're going to act right. So they can make great characters for action films, action flicks. Oh, what is it called? What are the stories called that have groups of characters? What kind of writer am I? I don't know what, what it's called. If you have a cast or like a group of characters in a story, an SE dominant type is pretty much a necessity. You want at least one character in there who's SE dominant, who's very aware of the surroundings, the circumstances, just like you might want one character who's kind of a thinker and doesn't really know what's going on you definitely want an SE dominant character in there as well. These are people who um, they, they are very aware of their appearance because that's all to do with sensory, you know, sensory decisions. Like what color to paint my nails? That's a sensory decision, right? I have to think about that more consciously, but an SE dominant type, it's like subconscious for them. They're just really good at it. Their Instagram game is probably really hot. So again, these are all just generalizations, assumptions of how you can use this in your work. Obviously, every type of person in real life acts differently, and SE is not my dominant function, so I don't have the best way of describing it. But that's kind of to give you a gist of, you know, what these people and characters are like. When they are in grip stress, an SE dominant character will lean on their fourth function, their inferior function, which is their NI, and that is their subjective intuition. That's the mystery function, the one that um, that I'm dominant in and that some writers often are dominant in and that's the function that just takes Disconnected pieces of subconscious information and then it comes to conclusions without being able to explain them in a logical or sensory way They're just kind of like these insights that come to people So for sensory types it is not normal for them to use this function But if they're in a state of grip stress They might start to lead with that function and not use it very well because it's not their dominant function again Jesse Pinkman great example. The more he's manipulated by Walt, the more that he's abused in that way, the more grip stress he has, he starts to lean on this NI and he gets these insights about what he thinks he's supposed to do. He starts to strategize, he starts to overthink things, and that's not in his nature as an SE dominant character. It's not in his nature to be motivated by thinking things through, 
or by spending time alone and contemplating. But when he's in that grip stress, he starts to do that. He starts to use that NI. He just gets these conclusions, these insights all of a sudden. Um, and again, that can be a defense mechanism. A grip stress function can always be a really good defense mechanism. Sometimes we need to lean on a different function when our dominant function is not helping us navigate a situation. But that's a perfect example of how a normally action-oriented character, when they're in a lot of stress or when the conflict and the heat gets turned up really high, they might suddenly just flip around into that insight mode and start behaving in ways that are not normal for them to do. I hope that helps. That's what I have for you on SE or extroverted sensing. It is one of my favorite functions to talk about. It's just a really fun, cool function. I'm sure there's some other videos in the sidebar here by other people about SE if you want to know more. So. Hopefully that helped you. It's all connected, my friends. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button because it will help other people find the video. Thanks a lot. Peace.